Hello, Brian Hogg here, and this is a quick video to show you how you can use Drip, which is an email automation and marketing tool, to send automatic emails from your WordPress site of the events that you have going on. So the first thing you need to do is sign up for a Drip account. You can do that by clicking over to join for free over at drip.co or getdrip.com. And once you've signed up, you actually need to then ask them, so you log in, and you need to go in and actually ask them to enable uh, what's called under automation RSS to email. So you won't have this by default uh, as of the recording of this video. And you need to go over to the question mark after you log in and then contact support and just ask them and just say, uh, I would like to have RSS to email enabled on my account. And they'll eventually reply and add that uh, to your account for you. So once you have that, uh, you need to head over, if you don't already, and grab Event Calendar Newsletter, which is a plugin for WordPress to allow you to automate the sending of, uh, you know, say an email every week saying here are the upcoming events uh, for the next week or 10 days. Uh, you could send daily emails of, of events and that are coming up or new events that you've just added whatever you need. So uh, you would grab this plugin and it supports a ton of different calendars, uh, WordPress calendars, such as the events calendar by Modern Tribe, which is one of the most popular one. I believe it's a featured one as well when you go to add a new plugin. So uh, whatever calendar that you have uh, that you need supported, it should be listed here. Once you've installed the plugin on your site, I've got this uh, local event site, Galt Events, that I've set up. And once I head over to Event Calendar Newsletter, I can just pick which events that I want to use. Uh, so for example, the next 10 days, which I think is good, I'm sending it on a Friday. I want to include that weekend, the whole next week, and then the weekend after that. And I can filter by categories if I just want to show certain categories, but I'll leave those unchecked. Uh, you can add header and footer text if you need to, uh, and then group the events by day or month if you have a lot of them. I've also created a custom template here, which you can see, but if needed, you can just pick a single row with button, minimal compact, or the default, and just use those for now. So I can click generate formatted events, scroll down, and you can see the output there. And all I need to do to be able to automate it with Drip is add a template. So I'm gonna say these are, you know, next 10 days of events. You can title that whatever you want. This is just your internal name and then hit save and go over to view save templates. Or you can also go to event calendar newsletter and then save templates and find it from there. So now all I need to do is grab this feed URL and copy that. And then if I head back over to drip, now I just need to go under the automation RSS to email and generate a new rule and then paste that feed URL in here. Now I can pick how often I wanna send it. So you could have a daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it on weekly. I'm gonna set it to send on Fridays and I'm gonna set it to send at 11 a.m. So it's just before lunch, they'll get the email then and can review it on kind of their Friday lunch and plan their evening and weekend, depending on what events are running. But you can customize this to whatever you want. Now you also can check send emails automatically. And with that, it's not gonna create a draft campaign and then you have to go in and send it each time. Yeah, you can just check that and it'll automatically send the posts every week. You do need to make sure that under your account settings, which is under here and then account, you need to set an address under your main. So actually if I open this in a new tab, I can show you. Under here, you need to have a postal address set. Otherwise, the emails will not send automatically. They'll save to draft because you don't have a postal address which is required for spam laws. So make sure that you go under your gear, under accounts, and set that address uh, to make sure that this will work properly. So you can check that. And then all I wanna do is um, remove the feed description, um, all that stuff, the title link, because all the content for my events is showing up in what's called the description of your uh, feed posts. So if I remove that, and I believe I can set this just to normal so it doesn't look larger. 
There we go. And now I could add something like, you know, uh, here are the upcoming events for the week, right? And then maybe some additional information under here, but you know, I can just put cheers, Brian, but you could add like links and say, Hey, if you want to submit an event, go here, uh, whatever you want, or reply to this email and let me know if there's a mistake, whatever you want to put in your template to uh, let them know. And same here, we can just put, uh, you know, upcoming events for next week and do that. So now I will just hit uh, save rule and you could uh, send a test email. A note that if you send yourself a test email, you'll only get the last three events. So don't panic. Uh, it doesn't mean that not all the events will be uh, in your actual email. It's just that their sending tool will only grab the last three. Again, as of the time of this recording, they might have fixed that or, or allowed it to generate all of the events that you have on your site. But uh, you can send a test email to at least see how it looks, or you can click generate now, which will generate a draft post that you can then view under broadcast. So you can actually see an example of one of those here. So if I pop over here and then see one that's sent before and then click over to email, you can see there it is, you know, I had a high there, uh, here are the upcoming events for the week, and then here are the events that are coming up using my template that I created in Event Calendar Newsletter. So that's it, that's how you can use Event Calendar Newsletter and Drip to automate the sending of your upcoming event emails.